so hello all welcome to this new video so as you have given the youth response for this subject control system we are uh, very happy that uh, we have uh, decided to create the videos related to one final revision okay since tomorrow you are having the exam of control system so we are going to provide you a different set of videos for all the five modules okay that is module by module in each video i am going to dis uh, i am going to just brush up what and all the concepts which you have discussed okay brief explanation is available in our channel playlist you can uh, watch it i i know that all, most of you have watched it but those who are new to this video you can watch that playlist okay uh, all the concepts here in brief i have explained it okay so from this uh, session onwards i am going to give you the quick revision that is uh, some of the what and all of the concepts there in this module i'm going to discuss it uh, in a very quick amount of time and uh, i'm going just going to brush up okay yeah so module 1 the name of the module 1 is uh, basic concepts okay so let's uh, start with some of the basic concepts that is definition of a control system a control system consisting of interconnected components is designed to ach designed to achieve a desired output okay this is input process output input is given to one process or a circuit then uh, the, the desired output generated by the given input is uh, uh, happening in this process and that process would be happening due to this control system okay and its definition is given as an interconnection of components forming a system configuration that will provide the desired response okay so this is one simple diagram related to open loop control system that is open loop control system is uh, input is independent of output okay that is input it is given to one controller then an actuating signal is generated it is given to one plant source that is one current uh, uh, circuit or a plant or circuit block diagram anything you can consider and that's on that circuit block diagram or anything uh, the desired output is generated this is called as open loop control system where there is no feedback path okay uh, it is con connected in a single series line uh, where input is independent of output okay so in case of closed loop control system here input is dependent on the output okay here the whatever the input side is given due to a controller plant and one feedback element is given from output to the input so that we can say that output is completely dependent on input whatever the input signal which we have given that would be completely dependent on the output and whatever the output generated would be given back to the input by one feedback element okay so this is called as one simple closed loop system and also we have discussed uh, the differences between open loop and closed loop system but some nine points are there that is less accurate open loop is less accurate closed loop is more accurate since it is uh, having one feedback path okay then from the point of view of stability it is easier to build it is more complex to build in case of closed loop less in power and cost higher in cost output quality is not guaranteed in case of open loop Out output quality is maintained and it is guaranteed in, in case of closed loop system so that's why most of the people prefer closed loop system in nature okay for in order to build one circuit or something the main uh, the main system used is the closed loop control system rather than open loop okay so feedback element is absent feedback is present error detection is absent error detection is present okay so so now let's discuss some of the advantages of closed loop system or the open loop system that is they have compared how closed loop system is better than open loop system with some of the parameters that is closed loop system have the advantage of greater accuracy over the open loop system they are less sensitive to noise disturbances and external changes in the environment Uh, transient and steady state error can be controlled conveniently the main advantage of the closed loop system is to provide the necessary output so then again we have discussed about uh, the transfer function you know the transfer function is the relationship between the input and the output that provides the uh, given relationship that is it is a mathematical representation of the relationship between the input and output of a particular system it is commonly used in control theory and signal processing to analyze and, and to to analyze some kind of system such as design okay then we have discussed about mass the component of mass is given through force is equal to mass into acceleration we know that acceleration is equal to displacement by time that is dv by dt so that it is represented as d square x by dt square since v is equal to dx by dt okay yeah so that's why this is uh, uh, the equation for mass similarly we have discussed about damping okay damping if it's a viscous friction this uh, definition it has the linear relationship between the relative velocity between the two moving sources so that it's given as f is equal to b dx by dt where b is the frictional constant and also we have discussed about spring okay 
force is required to cause displacement in the spring no no linear but approximately linear behavior is there that is force is directly proportional to the displacement of the spring that is given as f of t is equal to k times x of t where k is the uh, spring constant okay so uh, also we have discussed some of the mechanical rotational systems that is related to moment of inertia in case of mars in case of translational mechanical rotational system translational uh, mechanical system we have discussed the uh, mass in case of mechanical rotational system it is moment of inertia and uh, displacement cost is the angular displacement and the force cost is due to the torque okay t is the torque produced j is the moment of inertia and theta is the angular displacement and uh, t of s is given by j d square theta by dt square okay similarly the damping effect also we have uh, considered that is uh, uh, the damping friction also we have discussed the torsional spring action okay so this is one mechanical network sample simple how to convert this mechanical into an analogous equivalent circuit okay by taking the displacement as one single node and all the components present under that displacement we should be writing in parallel this is called one simple mechanical system we also uh, discussed two kinds of uh, analogies for analogous system it is mainly force voltage analogy and force current analogy right this is the analogous system that is in between electrical and mechanical system there exists a fixed analogy and there exists a stimulatory between a stimulatory between their equilibrium equations so this is due to, due to this it is possible to draw an electrical system which will be behave exactly as an analogous system okay from the mechanical system produced by writing some of the equilibrium equation and comparing those equations okay comparing those equations we can write the uh, the analogous equilibrium system due to uh, from that system to the electrical system okay we, uh, we have discussed mainly two kinds of analogies that is force voltage and force current analogy in force voltage analogy the equivalent electrical network is represented is re represented like this first the mechanical network then it's we should be writing its uh, equilibrium equation that is force is f of t mass is given as m d square x y dt square spring is given by k x of t and uh, friction is given by b dx by dt so this is the simple equilibrium equation here the net displacement is net force is equal to zero okay similarly we have made one table for force voltage analogy for mechanical translational system mechanical rotational system and electrical system in case of translational system it is force in case of rotational system it is torque in case of electrical system it is represented as voltage in case of fe analogy mass is mass moment of inertia and inductance that is m is replaced by l the b is replaced by r and in case of rotational system also b is replaced by r uh, spring stiffness in case of translational system sp torsional spring coefficient in case of rotational system and it is represented in it is replaced by reciprocal of capacitance that is 1 by c displacement is replaced by v and dx by dt velocity is replaced by current i so this is all about force voltage analogy all the replacements so in case of force current analogy also we have discussed some of the uh, replacements that is force is replaced by current mass is replaced by capacitance uh, friction is replaced by reciprocal of resistance spring stiffness k is replaced by reciprocal of inductance displacement is replaced by magnetic flux linkage that is called as phi then velocity dx by dt is replaced by the voltage okay so in case of uh, translational system it is velocity in case of rotational system all of them are angular displacement angular velocity and torque moment of inertia Okay. Yeah, we have also uh, discussed steps to solve these problems due to the mechanical system. Okay, mechanical system conversion steps to solve these kind of problems also we have discussed. Okay, one by one. What we first we should be doing? Identify all the displacement due to the apply force. The element spring and friction between two moving surfaces surfaces cause the change in displacement. We have also seen that. Okay. Draw the equivalent mechanical system on the node basis. That is how how much ever displacements are there. We should representing in in nodes, and we should be trying to write the equivalent mechanical system. Then the elements under some displacements are get connected in parallel under that node. That also I have discussed. The node each displacement is represented by separate nodes. Elements causing in displacement either friction or spring is always between two nodes. Okay, yeah. Then write the equilibrium equations at each node. Algebraic sum of all the forces acting at the node is zero. Right. In FE analogy. Use the following replacements. Okay, as I have told you, force is replaced by F is replaced by V, M is replaced by L, B is replaced by R, K is replaced by 1 by C, X is replaced by dQ by dt. Okay, yeah. Simulate the equations using loop method. That is, number of displacements are equal to number of loop currents in case of FE analogy. And in case of FI analogy, these are the sum of the changes. Then here, 
number of displacement are equal to number of node voltages okay also we have discussed uh, four to five uh, different different mechanical systems right in our uh, playlist okay those who have not seen it you can refer it we have discussed different kinds of mechanical systems and different kinds of problems so that you would be able to write it in the exam okay for all the force voltage analogy force current analogy okay so i'm here i'm just going to tell you all how to write it that is this is one simple mechanical system should be converting into an uh, uh, translational system should converting into an equilibrium mechanical system try to write the equilibrium equation of that okay then represent it in force voltage analogy in order by making some changes in this equation that is f is replaced by v uh, m is replaced by l b is replaced by r and k is replaced by 1 by c all of the changes the displacement x is replaced by q then write the equation okay then uh, represent the t domain in h domain by taking the laplace transform then name that equation as equation sum give that number to that equation then uh, for all the different nodes if we have only one single node then directly write try to write the fe analogous circuit if there are more than two uh, to one node you can uh, uh, again separately represent those nodes by writing the equation and simply writing it in h domain and write the loop circuit okay similarly for fi analogy do the uh, substitutions okay and try to write the equilibrium elect electrical network for node voltages by taking all the voltages as separate nodes then all the components which would be coming under that nodes we should be representing it in parallel along with one current source okay so we have discussed these concepts and many different kinds of mechanical system problems in brief in our concept videos you can refer it okay so in this way we have uh, done with some of the quick revisions for module 1 okay so hope you all uh, like this okay i have just uh, detailed brushed up all the concepts all the basics related to this module 1 okay so this video hope this would be beneficial to you all so that's all thank you let's get to the next video now of module 2. Thank you all. Please like, share, subscribe.